In this video, we will talk about basic concept of make file. First, understand what is a make file. A make file is a special file containing cell commands. This make file specify how to derive the target program. Make is a build automation tool that automatically builds the executable program and libraries from source code by reading the make file. Next, understand why make file is required. Let's say we are having source files file1.c, file2.c, file3.c, file4.c, which we want to compile and generate executable file. We can use gcc command directly to compile it. gcc minus o out dot x file one dot c two dot c three dot c and four dot c. This command will compile source files and will generate out dot exe executable file. If you want to compile source files and generate executable file, you need to retype this command every time in command line terminal. Here. We are having only four files. So here we can generate executable file by typing gcc command in command line terminal. But if we have huge source files, let's say thousand number of source files, is it possible for us to compile by typing in terminal? Writing that long of command can never be advisable. Here we need some automation which will be done by make file. This is one of the reason we use makefile for a large project. Taking another scenario, let's say we have already compiled the source files and having executable file and we have changed just one file and want to recompile. Using gcc command in command line will recompile all source files. If we have more number of files, build time will be higher. Let's say 10 minutes. So we need some rule which should allow to recompile only to the changed files. This can be done using makefile. Makefile has some rule which allows to recompile only to updated file. These are the two main reasons we use makefile. Now we will see basic rule in makefile and write a simple makefile for our understanding. Makefile contains set of rules used to build an application. First rule seen by make is the default rule. A rule consists of three parts, target, prerequisites and commands. Target could be the output file or action. Prerequisites are the required files to generate the target file or to perform the action. Commands which generates the target or perform action from prerequisites. Now. We will write three source file test 1.c, test 2.c and main.c and compile it using makefile run executable file. Then we will change test 1.c and rebuild the application using makefile. Here we will notice whether the all files are recompiled or only changed file is recompiled including standard input output header file. Writing test function 1. Printing string. Called from test1.c. Saving the file with name test1.c. Copying this file and renaming it to test2.c. Modifying function name test function 2. Updating print statement. Saving the file. Writing main now. Adding prototype for test function 1 and test function 2. In main. Printing statement called from main.c call test function 1 test function 2 saving the file. Now we will write make file for compilation. Taking target test.exe dependent files are test1.o, test2.o and main.o. Writing gcc command to generate executable file test dot exe from object file gcc minus o test dot exe test 1 dot o test 2 dot o main dot o our object files which are the dependencies for test dot exe 
we need to create object files as well. Taking next target test 1.0. Its dependent file is test 1.c. Writing command to generate object file from C file. GCC minus small c test 1.c minus o test 1.o. Printing same for test 2.o and main.o. Save this file with the name make file. Now we are having source files test 1.c, test 2.c and main.c and make file. We will compile our source files now with the help of make file. Opening terminal. Calling make utility. It will start execution of make file. Gave an error for main.c. Let's check main.c. I forgot return value. A uh, add return value 0. Save it. Clear screen. Ls some object files are present now. Removing object files using rm command. Calling make utility again. Notice here. All GCC commands are executed. First executed command is for test 1.0 target. Second executed command is for test 2.0 target. Third command is for main.0 target. And last command is for generating executable file test.exe. LS now object files and executable file are present. Running executable file printed called from main called from test1.c called from test2.c now i will update one of the file and check the recompilation whether is it recompiling for all files or recompiling only for changed file let's update test1.c file adding a print statement updated test1.c save this file ls object files are already present Issuing make utility again. This time only two GCC commands are executed. First GCC command is for generating test 1.0 because its dependent file test 1.c has changed. And second GCC command is for generating test.exe here also. Its dependent file test 1.0 had changed. This is a basic rule in make file target will only be executed when it is outdated with respect to its dependent file. LS if we want to delete these object files or executable file anytime. We can also add a rm command in make file. Adding phony target clean. I will talk about phony target in some other video in detail. Here just understand that. No output file will be created for phony target. Only the action will be performed. Clean is by default a phony target. It is not having any dependent files. Adding rm command to delete object files and executable file. Now we can directly call make clean command and this command will delete all object files and executable file. Save this make file ls object files and executable files are present now calling make clean rm command is executed ls now object files and executable files are not present we will see one more basic concept by default first rule is the default rule make does not execute all rules present in make file here First rule is to generate executable file test.exe so this is a default rule here as this target is having dependency on test1 test2 and main object files that is why gcc commands were issued earlier first for generating object files then after generating object files gcc command was issued for text.exe Let's change the order here for test.exe and test1.o. Move the rule for test.exe down to the rule for test1.o. Here the first rule which is also the default rule. 
is for generating test1.o file. Its dependent file is test1.c which is already present. So, only the first rule which is to generate test1 object file will be executed when we call make utility. Saving this make file. LS object files and executable file are not present. Issuing make utility. It has issued only one GCC command to generate test 1.0. LS only test 1 object file is present. Other object files are not present.